So we're here with a group called Halo, and Halo work in 27 different countries, getting rid of bombs, saving people from the bombs that have been left behind. Bombs that blow up tanks, bombs that blow up vehicles, bombs that blow up people. I mean, there's a bomb for everything apparently, and they're all in a hole in the ground with sandbags around them, and we're going to destroy them so they can't hurt people anymore. Yes. Now. Press and then when I set firing, yeah. press here and hold this one. I'm holding it. Yeah. When I'm you see the it. fire, yeah. Uh, wait. Quiet, quiet, quiet. Firing, firing. Oh wow, look at that big hole. You see? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. All the ammunition is destroyed inside. It's gone. It's gone, yeah. It's all gone. Yeah. Halo's mission is to lead the effort to protect people from being blown up and to restore livelihoods for those affected by conflict by securing weapons and disposing of unexploded ammunition, of which there's a lot. This is like our displayed cabinet. Oh and this is a range of different items that can be fine. Crikey, it sounds like very dangerous work. It's dangerous work, but it's, it's an interesting job here. You know, there's huge amounts of mines still out there that need to be found. Mm. And... Oh, I just can't believe you guys do this job. I just think it's the craziest job ever. We do have an excellent safety record, but it is part of the job and unfortunately accidents do happen and we have lost staff across the years in countries around the world and it is an unfortunate an unfortunate fact. But um, we've been we've been very fortunate here. We've not had many accidents and certainly very few fatalities. Most of the families have been able to return to their homes safely, but there's still so much more to do. She was walking into the area where they live in so she stabbed it onto oh. the anti personal mine. Had you spoken to your daughter about mines before? In front of each house, land mine was planted. Inhabited, this, for example, of Hergeza, started to repatriate from Ethiopian refugee camps to their hometown. The city was liberated, but it was not, it was not still liberated because of the land mines. People come, they try to see the destroyed house, land mine. Oh, no. That was very disaster. There is an ongoing, long-standing clan dispute down here, mm -hmm. but there's also a disputed region here with Pundman, which is essentially Somalia trying to push this border in as far as possible. The red dots are currently where we're at at the moment, mm -hmm. and they protected this border from invasion from Ethiopia. So you would have smaller camps on the, on the border going down. Back from those, you would then have more major camps. Mm -hmm. And then back from them, you'd have even bigger camps. It would be key locations which would need protecting from Ethiopian invasion. So we have 500 deminers, some of which are manual deminers, like this guy. And we have mechanical demining. Mm -hmm. like this. Mm -hmm. We also have mine risk educators, so it's important that we can't be clearing all the land in one go. So mm -hmm. it's important that we educate the, the young kids of today about the dangers of mines and the dangers of unexploded ordnance and explosive remnants of war, so that they don't touch. The accidents do happen and these remnants of war are still left out there. So. Um, it's important that we educate the children and educate the adults. Just that simple message of don't play with it, call Halo. And then that, you guys come and... And then we'll come and destroy it. And we know that this is a finite problem. So if no more lay mines get laid in Somaliland, we know we can find the last one. We know we can get rid of it. If you would like to help create safe and secure environments in war-stricken countries, then please visit the following site or get in contact with the Just Stone Foundation.